we've all seen the graphical representations of a mile wide and an inch deep and historically speaking what math curriculum has looked like in the United States. What's different about this year is when it comes to the Common Core State Standards in math, certainly the continued shift towards critical thinking and whatever it is they're discussing, whatever it is that they're working on. You know what we're going to practice today? We're going to practice counting. That makes your brain stronger at math. Problem solving is a huge thing in kindergarten. It's building the critical thinking skills that they're going to need throughout their academic career and constantly apply it to their real life situations. We have to practice counting things. That makes your brain stronger at math. One of the more important things for them is that zero is actually a number. What number comes before one, Lash? Zero. Zero. We have to start at zero. Do you think we can do that? Yeah. yeah. Let's jump zero times. Are you ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Zero. I didn't jump. I what happened when you jumped? No. You jumped once. That's not zero. Let's practice it again. So we had to keep going back to that over and over again because it's something that they really need to get the hang of so that they can actually start at zero and keep going. So what you saw was a mini lesson on counting. We're going to play a game called Give the Next Number. It was starting at a certain number, going up to a certain number. Stop. Start back at the beginning. This time, every time we get to the number seven, we're going to start all over again. What? What? Oh, my gosh. I know. That's hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Because we have to remember that we can't go to eight next. We have to start back at the number... Zero. Zero. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> what are you? Zero. One. You're looking at taking something where they've always gone. One, two, three, and just started at the front. And you're having them jump around. It's, it's making their brains work harder to develop just an understanding of where things go. They'll pick up that number sense and they'll constantly apply it to their real life situations. And so we're counting toys at recess. We're counting steps on the stairs. And eventually what you'll see them do is that they'll start making those connections. Mrs. Mrs. Terry, we, we only have 26 kids today. One's missing. At the end, you saw them come back to the carpet. We reviewed the skill. What comes after one? One, two. The major shifts with Common Core is that instead of hopping from one thing to the next thing to the next thing, now you're looking at hitting the same things over and over again until mastery, and at that point, switching to the next idea. <gasps> yeah, I got 14! You have no idea what a huge shift that's been because I can actually see that they've made progress. I can look at them and know that they're going to that next grade level and they've, they've got what they needed to have. 